I'm going to give an example of how you could use Small Step Certificate Manager, the hosted CA, to um, inject certificates automatically into your pods using an annotation. This uses AutoCert, which is an open source project, which also works with Step CA, uh, Small Step's open source certificate authority. Um, but in this example, I'm going to show how you could use the hosted certificate manager to do the same thing. Uh, first step is to come over here to app.smallstep.com and add a new authority if you don't have one already. I'm going to call this one K8s. And that's going to give this bootstrap command um, to set up my workstation to run some more commands to um, get this run in. So I'm going to take that. And then on top here, I've got my Ubuntu server. Down here, I've got my local workstation. So I'll go ahead and add that. I'm going to do install also because I want my workstation to trust the root of this authority. It's going to be making some requests later on directly to the Kubernetes cluster services. All right, up here on my Ubuntu server, I have a Kubernetes cluster running. Um, this was just created with curl, curl.sh with a K. Um, the spec is right here. I've got Kubernetes 1.23. I've got Weave for my CNI and ContainerD, of course, for the CRI. Um, I got the URL um, from curl.sh and already installed that. So this is a single node cluster. And the next step that we need to do is create a provisioner for AutoCert to use. So I'm going to do that on my workstation here. Now this password, I'm going to have to create a Kubernetes secret from later, so I'm just going to use something simple, my password. Next step, I'm going to go over to my server with Kubernetes running on it and create um, a secret and a couple of config maps that AutoCert is going to need. So I'm also going to bootstrap this server so I'd have the uh, config files available locally um, to make it really easy to create these config maps that I need in Kubernetes. So let me go back and get this bootstrap command. Um, now this time I'm not going to install it because I'm not going to need to be trusting um, the root certificate for anything on this. So we're going to install AutoCert into the step namespace. So I'm going to create that namespace. There it is. Now first I'm going to create um, a secret for AutoCert to use that provisioner that we created just a minute ago down here. So I'm going to do cube control create secret generic. bootstrap step I got some files under config here I'm 
end under certs. So I'm going to create secrets. Sorry, not secrets, config maps for these. These are um, not secret credentials. So let me fix that. All right, that looks correct now. Um, so now we could go ahead and move on to deploying AutoCert. Um, AutoCert works as an admission controller and you register a webhook so that whenever a pod gets created, um, the auto cert deployment will get a chance to mutate that. And if it has the right annotation, it will inject um, a certificate by first injecting it in a container that then writes the certificate to a shared volume so that when the con main containers start up, they could also have access to that. And this is coming from the open source repo here, um, o2autocert.yaml. Um, now by default, autocert expects to find a um, CA running in the cluster. But in this case, we're using the hosted certificate manager. So we need to update this to the uh, CA URL of the authority that we created at the beginning. And that is right here. Go ahead and deploy that. And then we need to um, apply the RBAC so that the webhook can do its job. And <coughs> this is o3rbac.yaml from that same GitHub repo, and this does not require any modification. Now it's time to uh, configure Kubernetes, the API server, to actually um, call our autocert webhook whenever a pod gets created. So we've got that right here in this file. Um, the one thing we need to do though is to find the um, CA bundle root. So this is um, going to be for the authority. So auto cert itself is um, using a lease certificate signed by that authority that we created. And it's also going to be um, setting up pods, generating certificates for all these pods using that same authority. So now we've told the Kubernetes API server to trust that authority's route when it's con contacting our um, webhook deployment. Um, so let's go ahead and apply this. All right, that looks good. So 
so now auto cert is running Kubernetes API server is going to call it um, next thing we need to do is label the namespace um, so that um, auto cert will inject certificates in that namespace um, so let's see what is the correct label for that here we go And then we have a simple deployment here. Um, this is, here's the annotation that's gonna tell AutoCert to inject a certificate here. And this is the name, this is gonna be used both as the common name and in the SANS list on the certificate that gets generated and injected into this pod under var run. Let's go ahead and apply that. And as you can see, the uh, certificates are here for use by the application. Um, so let's show how now, assuming this was, was some sort of actual application um, that might be used internally, um, how we could configure our workstation to um, connect to this application using mutual TLS. So on the workstation, Locally, I'm going to generate a client certificate to use to connect to this server. And then we have a, um, let's see, there's a service here. Uh, this is a node port service, so let's go ahead and apply this. And it's gonna target our um, example web application. So this is listing on um, port 8,443 on the node. So let's get the IP. And then let me see, we had the sign for example.apps.internal. So at this point, we should be able to connect with curl using a client certificate. And there we go.